Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here for my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this really just does not work. Let's get over for business on this Sunday morning as we go to church today with the Dallas Cowboys. You know, blessed man, I'm blessed that I have my health. I'm, you know, I'm not the greatest of shape in the world that I've got two legs and I can walk. They're not the greatest legs and they hurt a lot, but I'm blessed that I have them. I'm blessed to be here talking with you guys each and every morning about my beloved Dallas Cowboys with a cup of coffee. Anything above and beyond that is gravy. So I'm thankful each and every day. So we've had the black cloud leave and Scott Linehan being fired. And I didn't even remember if I turned on the open for business sign as we do this morning's edition of Don't Sleep on the Dallas Cowboys because you literally cannot sleep on the Dallas Cowboys because things happen late in the evening, late night, first thing in the morning, so you want to be up to speed with all that is America team. Um, we are in hyper speed here with the Dallas Cowboys because things change by the minute. Okay, you know, I put up yesterday a bunch of videos about possible prospects that the Dallas Cowboys are thinking about to replace Scott Linehan. Some of them have seemed like they make sense. Other ones, when you talk about Tony Romo basically giving away about $10 million a year to become an offensive coordinator and having to have to work all year round makes no sense at all. And also, there were rumors about Kellen Moore being promoted. We already know he was coming back, even though Linehan was gone. He was a former quarterback, started with the Lions, of course, with the Cowboys, and Dak Prescott beat him out after he got injured. And he has been the quarterback coach. And I went through the discussion on a video about that yesterday. And somebody immediately said, this is just... You know, I, I'm sick and tired of people saying when this guy right here, Ian Rappaport, somebody I'm not a fan of, I just make sure everybody's saying he's a clickbaiter. When people come around with this guy, oh, he works for the networks and stuff, so it's okay. So, Alan Moore was a dark horse because that was what was being reported, and instantly somebody says, I'm a clickbaiter. Well, guess what? There's plenty of them around there right now, if you look, because in fact, this guy, which I don't necessarily believe much that comes out of it. This is the same guy that said Tony Romo was going to get traded to the Redskins and Kirk Cousins going to get traded to the 49ers. This is the same guy who talked about Des Bryant being arrested all these times. This is the same guy that said that Des Bryant was going to take a pay cut, the Cowboys are going to keep him. This is the same guy that said a coach was going to get a new extension and got fired the next day. So you have to take what he says with a grain of salt. However, now they are talking still about Kellen Moore being promoted in the offensive system as well as bringing in John Kitna. Now don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what is out there being said and giving you my take on it and how it works. Unfortunately, I am never 100%, but I got to tell you, I've been more right than this guy right here. I told you Des Bryant was going to be cut months before it happened. This guy kept saying, no. I told you Tony Rumble was getting traded to the Redskins. This guy, no. So this is exactly what they're talking about, or at least he's reporting this morning. And don't say I'm a clickbaiter. One possibility of the Cowboys and something that allows the John Kitna interest to make sense is to promote the fast-rising, impressive quarterback coach Kellen Moore to offensive coordinator. At least that's the discussions of how to proceed. So Ian Rappaport is actually retweeting himself. While the Cowboys quarterback... I mean, OC job remains open. The current staff is in place, and still they are looking to add. I'm told they're considering bringing former quarterback coach, uh, quarterback John Gitna, in to work with their offense. Likely quarterback, sources said. That was most recently um, being reported. So they're looking at bringing in John Gitna, who's actually, I believe he's been working with high schools. 
after he, he ended up leaving the NFL. Um, I think on the high school level, I've I got to do some research because this is a story that's just kind of breaking right now. Um, but Jason had a much better career than Kellen Moore. But I'm trying to understand, this is the part that kind of goes off the tracks for me. When they say fast rising star Kellen Moore. Did I miss that? Did I miss Kellen Moore being the hot shot new coach? I'm just remembering the images of Dak Prescott and him sitting side by side on the bench there when the Cowboys offense was literally in the toilet. Granted, the Cowboys offense played better once we got Amari Cooper and Dak got more comfortable with the wide receivers, but we were still 22nd in yardage. When you look at Dak Prescott, you see flashes of great play. When Dak Prescott sets in the pocket and it has time to go through his progressions and sets his feet, he throws great balls. But you can see there's still a whole lot more for him to learn that I don't feel that he was getting taught this year. And maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I, I'm not there at practice every day. I don't talk to the players and know for sure. But fast rising star, you're ready to make him an offensive coordinator? Fundamentally, that they had been doing before, and we've seen the improved play as a result. Here's one over the middle. Are you good with that idea? Yeah, I'll, I'll say this much. I'll say this much. I would rather him than Scott Linehan. For no other reason is because of his youth and being able to relate to the players, possibly. Although I don't know how much respect he would garner from the players. But I feel like he could at least be somebody that the players could go through and say, hey, John. You know, here's something that we did in Oakland that used to work real good with me and Derek Carr. Maybe we could try that. Hey, hey, uh, you know, maybe let's try and open it up a little bit more. Hey, Kellen, how about we work on doing more bootleg and play action? I could see that dynamic being where you could be coaching both ways, where the players could get more input to work with the coach. I could see that. I could see Scott Linehan being a brick wall. It's my way or the highway, and if you don't like it, you're in the doghouse. So maybe from that standpoint, but I'm not sure that he is ready for all the exercise. And that's not to say that he's not going to be. John Gruden, uh, although lately his star has taken some tarnish, believed that he was going to be a much better coach than he was going to be a professional football player. So, that's guys. Nothing surprises me anymore when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys. You know, here it is. For all we know, it wouldn't surprise me if anything happened with the Cowboys. We are just that crazy here. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Jebu Sports Report. Appreciate each and every one of you guys in my life, and I'll see you soon.